Hi, I'm Nikki, and I'd like to introduce you to Hideaway, the bottle you'll always reach for. Because it's always within reach. Experts suggest that for optimum health, the average active person drink over 10 glasses of water every day. But for those of us who are always on the go, it's nearly impossible to stay hydrated without reaching for disposable bottles of water or sugary sports drinks. Bottled water may be convenient, but it's not cheap. It costs more than 2,000 times more than tap water, even though it's less regulated for health and quality. Then there's the bottle. Every minute, U.S. consumers throw out 90,000 plastic bottles, and less than a quarter are actually recycled. The rest end up in our landfills and in our streets, parks, and beaches. We need a convenient solution to disposable plastic bottles that fits our active lifestyle. So as a freelance product designer, uh, I'm traveling a lot, visiting clients, visiting factories, going to trade shows. I was looking for a water bottle that would not take up a lot of space in my carry-on. And I started looking around for a product that would work, that would still be functional, and I, it wasn't out there. As I'm going through airports, I'm seeing so many travelers probably with the same problem, and I figured this is a problem I could solve myself. You know, once I had a solution for business travel, I realized this had great application in my personal life, especially in the outdoors, going backpacking or just on hikes. Um, I could bring water with me and when the bottle was empty, it, it collapses and goes away and takes no extra space in my pack. No one loves uh, buying disposable water bottles. It's, it's merely out of convenience. And the hideaway makes um, a reusable bottle more convenient. In fact, in some places, uh, disposable water bottles are, are being banned. So we're all gonna move towards the reusable water bottle model. And that's why I feel like this is kind of the next generation in hydration. This gives you an option to have a water bottle all the time without having to throw anything away. I'm really excited to share the Hideaway bottle with, with the world, and Kickstarter is an amazing opportunity to do that, to be able to show you, the backers, what this is all about. So please check out the rewards. We need to raise a significant amount of money to get this into production, to get it on the shelves uh, this year. And just as important, please share it with everyone you know. Tell them about this great water bottle, the Hideaway. Okay, so all of us own a few phone accessories, right? And some of them can actually do some really impressive things. But right now, if I asked you to get one, you'd probably say, I don't have it with me. So most of the time, you end up leaning your phone against some random object instead of actually using that expensive tripod that you left at home. So because there weren't any real solutions, we made our own. And back in 2013, we launched our first Kickstarter campaign for the Pocket Tripod, a fully adjustable stand for your iPhone that holds your device in both portrait and landscape without covering the screen. Best part is that it transforms into the size of a couple of credit cards and hides away in any wallet or purse until you need it again. People loved it. We raised more than our funding goal by almost double. And even Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, the Woz, said, Why didn't someone do this before? What a great idea that I wish I'd thought of. I put one of them in my backpack, which is always with me. But then a few of our very clever backers realized something that we missed and told us, I've got a case on my phone. I'm not going to take it off every time. That's just too much work. And someone else said, so what? You guys some kind of Apple fanboys? You know some people rock Android, right? And that got us thinking. You can't make a pocket tripod for every phone and case model out there. There's at least a million different combinations. Who knows? So as soon as we shipped all the rewards to our two and a half thousand backers, we started working on a universal pocket tripod instead of limiting it to only bare iPhones. For months, we studied case designs, got feedback from our backers, and tested ideas. Once we had a universal opening shape, we made it in a range of sizes so that it fits as many case and phone combinations as possible. This is the new 
universal pocket tripod. Does it work with the Apple silicone case? Perfectly. How about the Galaxy Note? Yep. Works fantastic in landscape and halfway in portrait. Does it work with every case? Almost, unless it's gigantic. We've also created this guide that lets you know exactly what pocket tripod you need just by knowing what case and device combination you have. Okay, but what if I like it bare, but also sometimes with protection? Do I need two pocket tripods? Nope, because whenever you swap your case or your phone, you can also get the adapters to match their new size. You're good to go. The pocket tripod's been used and tested for the past two years by thousands of people worldwide. They use it as their primary tripod every day to take amazing time lapses, for making video calls, and even to create light paintings. We've made the pocket tripod with the highest standards of engineering, materials, and manufacturing. They say the best camera is the one that's with you, and the same is true when it comes to tripods. The pocket tripod is now a proven product, and with your help, we want to make it one of the most practical smartphone accessories for as many people as we can. We hope you join us. Thank you. A decade ago, the batteries in our cell phones lasted us a week. Today, they don't last us through the afternoon. We didn't just want to create another accessory, so we created a solution. Power for your phone is a necessity. We wanted a solution that fits seamlessly into your life. Keys, phone, wallet. These are the only three things you should have to remember. Hi, Kickstarter. I'm Adam. And I'm Noah. We love our iPhones. What we hate is that the battery just won't last. Most of us don't like traveling around with a tangled web of cord in our pockets. Which is why we created the charge card. It's thin enough so you always have it on you. Four fit in my wallet and it's the same thickness. Fundamentally, it's an extremely simple concept. It's a cable for charging your phone. But its elegance is its ability to be stored in your wallet, just as you would a credit card. The beauty of the charge card is that it uses any USB port to charge your phone, and the presence of USB ports has just exploded over the past decade. So wherever you are when your phone dies, you'll have a way to charge up. First we started with sketches and rubber cutouts. We moved on to cast functional models and then on to 3D printed final form prototypes. For the design of the charge card, we took advantage of the fact that the functional portions of a USB and iPhone cable are only a tenth of an inch thick. We have the two plugs connected by a cable running through a rubber overmold, which connects the USB cable and gives it a full range of motion. On the sides of the USB plug are two plastic detents, which allow it to snap into the larger body so it can slip smoothly into your wallet. The charge card is designed to work with even the thickest cases, like the Autobox. Keys, phone, wallet. These are the only three things you should have to remember. So by making it thin enough to stow in your wallet, it's always on you. Charge card is with you when you need it, and out of your way when you don't. We've made the prototypes, we finalized the design, and with your support, we move to production. So pledge to our project, we'll send you a charge card, and all of your iPhone charging dreams will be answered. So we were really frustrated by the TV gaming space. It was really clunky, it was big consoles, big controllers, wires everywhere, and the ecosystems were completely closed. So we wanted to blow that apart with a really beautiful product, something really simple, really elegant, on a completely open operating environment. We call it GameStick. We set out with GameStick to create a really beautiful big screen games console. In building that product, there were some really fundamental engineering challenges. We wanted to go from a product this size to 
a product this size. GameStick is a two inch games console running Android. For the first time ever, it puts big screen gaming directly in your pocket. It's packed with power and memory to run the very richest games available today. No wires, no boxes, no fuss. So in creating a great games console, you've got to create a great game controller. And we focused tirelessly on making this product as beautiful to use as possible. We looked at trying to integrate the stick into the controller so that you ended up with a really easy to hold, beautiful, portable device that you could take anywhere you wanted to go. Everything we do at Play Jam is about TV. We love TV. Our entire mission here is about trying to make games on TV the best experience that we can. You've got a really open, vibrant platform on mobile and you've got a closed network on console. And Play Jam simply is trying to break that ecosystem and bring fantastic games to TV. My name is Charles Wong. I'm the co-founder of Green Throttle Games. Before that, I was the co-creator of Guitar Hero. Well, I think the game stick is a good idea because uh, it brings down the cost of playing games on a television. So not every game should be played on a four, five hundred dollar console. I think there are a lot of great games that people can play on their television that don't require all of that. And I think the game stick is, uh, is, is a perfect product for bringing that type of game to uh, the mass market. The thing I always think about with the game stick is not only its affordability, but its accessibility. That's, that's the area that I think game developers and also the consumer and the player will get the most excited about. The type of games that you can play using the game stick will be very, very accessible, very intuitive, very friendly, uh, and a lot of fun very, very quickly. We're really excited to be working with over 250 developers who like the idea of getting their games on TV but don't necessarily have the resources or the opportunity to go via the direct console route. We see a huge opportunity to provide a direct self-publishing route to TV via an affordable, highly portable, dedicated gaming device which will, we hope, inspire a lot of creative thinking around the big screen. For the first time you can create and own your original intellectual property, uh, you can bring that to market and actually now we're really starting to see the emergence of connected TV as a really viable platform, uh, really being able to access the television uh, through um, more accessible, more affordable devices and, and that's something that from a development perspective I find very, very exciting. We've come a long way with this product and it's been a real labour of love but we're really proud of what we've created that we think can be truly disruptive for the games industry. To get it to the next stage requires support. Kickstarter is the most vibrant funding platform on the planet today and we're absolutely delighted to be within that network and we really hope that we'll find the support we need to take this product to the next level. Hi Kickstarter, I'm Ak from Infinitech and I'd like to tell you about our new microcomputer, the Pocket TV. The Pocket TV is a small pocket-sized dongle that connects to the HDMI port of any regular television and converts it into a smart TV. It allows you to run your favorite apps right on your TV screen instead of on your phone or tablet. The Pocket TV is one of the world's smallest computers and it runs Android Ice Cream Sandwich. We started designing microcomputers with our first product, the Infinite USB Memory Drive, or IUM for short. It's like a regular flash drive, but it gives users a virtually infinite capacity. The IUM was extensively featured in the global press, including the BBC, Engadget, and many others. We took all our learnings from the IUM and put them into the Pocket TV to make a better product that's also more fun to use. We call it the Pocket TV because the device is so small that it can fit in your pocket so you can take it anywhere you go. That's important because you can carry it with you to access all your information, documents, games, and even TV channels wherever you are. Imagine walking into a meeting and plugging it into a projector then using Dropbox to access your presentation, all without a laptop. It runs Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, so it's very fast and zippy. Then you can customize the screens to look the way you prefer with shortcuts for your apps and even your favorite widgets. 
You can stream music and video from your NAS drive or online. It works with YouTube, Netflix, Amazon services, and many more. It's great fun for games too. Now you can actually see the facial expressions of how angry these birds really are. Download your favorite news apps, work on documents, check your emails, and of course, you can browse the web too. Don't forget you can download thousands of apps from the Google Play Store. They'll all look amazing on your television. The Pocket TV runs a 1 GHz processor with 512 megs of RAM. It also has a dedicated GPU for graphics that can run up to 1080p resolution. We've also built in a microSD card for additional storage and a USB port that can be used to connect the keyboard, a mouse, a webcam, or the Infinitech Air Remote. The Pocket TV comes with a standard infrared remote and is also compatible with any universal remote. There's also an optional Air Remote for backers who choose it. This remote uses gyroscopic sensors to detect motion and it allows you to control the screen just by moving your hand. It's very intuitive and comfortable to use and it adds a whole new dimension to the user experience. We know you guys will love it. What's even more, you can use your iPhone or Android smartphone as a remote control. So that's our Pocket TV. We're now done with our development and are getting ready to go to mass production. We'd like you to join us and help us get the Pocket TV onto screens all around the world. Thanks.